I had a problem with this guy. We were texting back and forth and he stopped replying to me. He never sent me a threat, which is quite an interesting dynamic for people to understand that when someone has true intention, they don't threaten you. And then about four days later, I was walking to my car in a car park late at night, typical English weather. It was a little bit wet, dark, and I heard footsteps coming fast. And as I turned to see what the footsteps was, he attempted to stab me. And that's why anyone who knows me well knows that my finger basically came off where I put the hand, took the knife instead of my neck. This is why I can't wear headphones. It's why, bro, let me stop for a second. If you wear headphones in public, you are asking to die. To me, that's like, it's like, it's like parachuting with one of the parachute strings broken. Like you can't hear. I didn't see him coming. I heard him coming. You're just gonna walk around pumping garbage in your ears. Do you really believe the world is such a lovely place? It's insane. Anyway, so I struggle to have people behind me. I don't like it. If I go in a restaurant, I must sit in the corner. And when I sit in the corner, I look across the restaurant. I look at all these men just sitting there, doop de doo laughing, drinking, people walking all around them. Very killable. I mean, sure, you could say no one wants to kill you, which is one way to look at it. But if they decided they did want to kill you, it'd be very easy to do. I like to think that even if someone wanted me dead, it would be difficult. I don't like to think that the second somebody wants me dead, it would be very easy to accomplish. But here I am with empty space behind me and I can relax. It's a beautiful thing. 